So last year we have done a genome editing study in MPS1 mice. So we are using AAV vectors to encoding the zinc finger nuclease, which is a, a genome editing tool to edit the liver cells and transduce and modify the liver cells into like a enzyme factory to provide therapeutic uh, proteins for the multiple tissues, including the brain. And we have done that in the MPS1 mice. And also, we tested these uh, reagents in the monkeys, non-human primates, to see whether it's safe or not. And it proves to be safe. And we filed the pre-ND application, approved by FDA thereafter. And now we are re recruiting patients for the clinical trials. So that's what, what we have done. And currently, we are moving forward with, with the clinical trials. And in the future, we want to apply this strategy to other lysosome diseases. And we are interested in the Tay-Sachs disease and Sandhoff disease currently. So currently, uh, patients were treated by enzyme replacement therapy and uh, stem cell transplantation. The enzyme replacement therapy requires uh, infusions every week. And it's a lifelong thing. And it's quite expensive. It will cost them over, I would say, Two hundred thousand dollars per year, and that's uh, that's pretty expensive. And for the stem cell transplantation, it can treat the patients um, a lot of disease, like the systemic disease and also the neurological disease. But it is associated with uh, severe mortality and morbidity. So there are some there is a rate the patients will die during the surgery. And the gene therapy, the best part of it, it can treat the patients with a single injection with a, a reduced risk. So after the gene therapy, just one injection, it can provide long-term therapeutic uh, benefits. And the, I would say the adverse events currently from our monkey studies and mouse studies, it's not a big issue. We don't think it will kill the patients right away or uh, cause long-term uh, morbidity.